Hello. So today we'll be seeing how we can install VS Code or Visual Studio Code on Kali Linux. After you boot into your Kali Linux machine, first thing you need to do is get into a browser. Now this doesn't matter which browser you use, just you need a browser. Then you can just go to this link. I'll give the link in the description. Then search for VS Code, you will find this there. Now, after you are in here, you should see something like this. Now, we are installing it on Kali Linux, so we need the Linux variant. So, there are two types of variant. One is the dev package and the RPM package. Now, here are some of the Linux distribution that support the dev package or everything that comes from Debian. And here are some that support the RPM package or mostly like this thing. So now, as you can see, we need the dev package since we are installing on Kali Linux and it does support. Now here are some extra variants if you want 32-bit or 64-bit, but I wouldn't worry about it because if you have installed it normally, you should have a 64-bit and it will detect what you are using and automatically download. So after you click it, you should get a message like this and it should ask for where to save it. Now remember, just use save file. Now I have it installed, I, I have it downloaded, so I won't do it again. Then you just need to go to the directory where you downloaded it. Now this, this is different for everyone. So if you have it in the default directory, then it should be in the downloads folder. Now, if you see it there, that means you have successfully downloaded VS Code. Now, we need to work on the terminal. First, we need to get to the downloads directory. You can directly open it from there, or you can do this. Now, basically the same thing, but I like to do it in the terminal. It just feels right. Then, when you do ls, it will list every item in there. And as you can see, here is our code package. Now to install this, you need to type this command. This is the command and in the file name, you just need to put this. And once you do, you can hit tab, it will auto complete the file name. It's just easier. But this won't work because if you are not in root, it will not work. You need to have root privileges to or sudo permission to work on this. So you just need to type sudo before everything you just type and it should work normally. Then it will ask for your password because you are trying to access the root. Just give your password and hit enter. After it's done, you should have this code installed.